Welcome, this is my latest video of my series on the FL Sun Q5 3D printer. If you find this video helpful, I'll put a link in the description to the hardware I'm using, and if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit, doesn't cost you anything extra. I'll also put a link below to my FL Sun Q5 playlist. So in this video, I'm going to talk about increasing the resolution on a time lapse made with Octoprint. So I have a video where I set up Octoprint, and that's in my playlist below. And Octoprint has time lapse capabilities, but the resolution by default is very low. It's only 640 by 480. So I'm logged into Octoprint. You can see my print bed here. And I'll go to time lapse and I'll say timed mode is timed. So I'll set the snapshot interval to one. I'll save changes. I think 10 seconds is often fine for snapshots, but I want to have more frames for this demonstration. So I'll go to control here and I'll go to dry run. Dry run is a plugin I installed, which will make it seem like it's printing something without actually printing anything. So I'll go down here and print this vase. So you'll see the print head come down here in a minute and it will start simulating like it's printing. And we're also creating a time lapse because I turned time lapse on here. Okay, I'm going to cancel that print. Now if I go to time lapse, I'll scroll down and I can search over here to sort by date and that's at the top. So I'll download that video, I'll open it up, and here it is, we can see it's in a small resolution. It's 640 by 480. So I'll close this. So we need to change a configuration on Octoprint on the Raspberry Pi. So you can use SSH to connect to the Raspberry Pi. And if you know how to do that, that's one way to do it. I'm going to show a different technique. So what I need to do is shut down the Octoprint system. So I'll go to this little power button here and I'll say shut down system. I'll say proceed. I'll give this a little bit of time and then I will shut down the Raspberry Pi or take out the power and I'll pull out the SD card and put it into my computer, okay? Okay, so I'm inserting the card in my computer. I'm on a Mac, I'll go to my Finder. On Windows, you would go to Windows Explorer and I see this boot drive here. I can double click on that and you'll see these files. So we're looking for octopi.txt, which is right here. So we need to edit the octopi.txt file, so I'll double click on it. And if we have a note at the top, it says Windows users, to edit this file, use Notepad++, VS Code, Atom, or Sublime Text. Do not use Notepad or WordPad. Mac OS X users, if you use text edit to edit the file, make sure to use plain text format and disable smart quotes in the text edit preferences. So I've checked my settings and they're set up correctly on my Mac. Now if you SSH into the Raspberry Pi, you can use your editor of choice and it should just work. You shouldn't have any problems there. So I want to go down into this file. I'll make it a little bit bigger so it's easier to read. And I want to find this line here. It says camera USB options. So I'll delete the pound sign at the beginning and then I'll scroll over to the resolution. And I'm using a Logitech webcam. It's C615, I think it is. And its maximum resolution is 1080p. So the resolution would be 1920 by 1080. So I'll change that there. F is for frame rate. I'll leave that at 10. Then I'll go up to the file menu to save. And then I'll close this file and it's ready to go. So this is finished here, so I'll eject it. I'll place it into the Raspberry Pi and then I'll boot it up. I'll go back to my web browser. Okay, Octoprint is loaded. I'll hit connect to connect to my printer. I'll go to time lapse over here. I'll turn it on. I'll say timed. I'll say I want a one second time lapse, not 110. I'll say one. I'll say save changes. I'll go to control here. I'll turn dry run on. I'll go down and I'll print this vase again. So I'll let this run for a minute and then we'll take a look at the time lapse. For some reason it's not showing up on my screen. I'll just refresh my browser. There we go. Okay, so I'll cancel this. And on the touchpad on my printer, I'm going to tool and I'll just hit home to raise the print head up. I'll go over to the time lapse tab. I'll scroll down, and here's the latest time lapse. I'll download that. I'll open it, and you can see this is bigger now. I'll go to the inspector, and we can see it's now at 1920 by 1080. So I do want to make a note that I record these at 720p, these screen captures. 
So this is 1080p, but it's not 1080p quality right now because it's shrunk down for my screen. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.